Hello and welcome to our technical support video for the assessment of hydrocarbons using HasWaste Online. This video assumes that you have purchased a chemical analysis for hydrocarbons and also PAHs from your favourite laboratory. We have also divided this video into a number of sections to better explore a number of related hydrocarbon topics. Please note that during this video, you will see some determinants highlighted in orange by HasWaste Online due to the hazard property HP3 flammable. This potentially hazardous outcome is covered in a separate video. To learn more about this, follow the link in the description of this video. Section 1 TPH C6 to C40 Petroleum Group TPH C6 to C40 Petroleum Group is the determinant defined by the four UK environmental agencies for the assessment of either an unknown oil or a mixture of two or more oils. Unknown oil is hazardous at only 0.1% due to the mutagenic and carcinogenic hazard properties HP11 and HP7 respectively. Note that at higher concentrations other hazard properties such as HP14 ecotoxic will be added to the overall classification. As indicated in its name, the carbon range required for the assessment of an unknown oil requires measurements of the concentration of all petroleum hydrocarbon molecules that contain between 6 and 40 carbon atoms. Depending on the hydrocarbon test purchased, the laboratories can present these results in a variety of ways, typically in bands. For example, the hydrocarbons may be documented in subsets of the total, such as concentrations for total aliphatic and total aromatic hydrocarbons. In this instance, you would need to add the two subtotals together before entering the result into Hasdaways Online. Another example might be the bands published in various separations. For example, aliphatics C5 to C8, C8 to C10, C10 to C12, etc. In this case, you have to add the concentrations for all the aliphatics and all the aromatics together before entering the total into Hasdaways Online. Note also that unknown oil has to be assessed based on all the petroleum hydrocarbons between C6 and C40, and not selected carbon ranges, individual hydrocarbons or marker compounds. One last but important scenario is where the classifier has received data for the TPH CWG test, where only the carbon bands between C5 to C35 has been supplied. This range is common because this is what is required for the Phase 2 human health risk assessments. However, for waste classification, we also need the results for C36 to C40. So to complete your classification, you need to go back to the lab and ask them for the missing carbon range. Section 2. Available TPH tests from the laboratories. There are various types of tests obtainable from laboratories relating to hydrocarbons. In this section, we will try to explain the difference between the most common types we see and why they are obtained. Please note that the labs all use different but similar names for the same thing. It is up to you to check with your favourite lab as to the methodology behind their tests. Firstly, there is what some labs call a total petroleum hydrocarbon test also commonly referred to as an Extractable Petroleum Hydrocarbon Test, or EPH for short. These tests measure all the hydrocarbons extracted from the waste by the solvent, typically for organic molecules between carbon C10 and C40. As they measure all the hydrocarbons the solvent can extract from the waste, the total concentration can also include non-petroleum hydrocarbons, such as humic acids, from soils and fatty acids found in foods, animals, plants and some industrial processes. These tests may be preferable in cases where you are looking for non-petroleum hydrocarbons, or where the concentration of hydrocarbons is suspected to be, or known to be, small, as the test is also a cheaper option than the tests that we will discuss next. As the unknown oil determinant TPH C6 to C40 petroleum group is aimed at petroleum hydrocarbons and not hydrocarbons originating from coal, ash, peat and plants, it is better to purchase either a cleaned up EPH or the standard TPH CWG test for your classification. Both tests go through what is called a clean up stage 
that attempts to remove the contributions from the non-petroleum hydrocarbons. These cleaned up tests are therefore more likely to give a lower concentration than the simpler EPH test. Section 3. Tools to help identify the source of hydrocarbons. You should always ask your laboratory to provide an interpretation as to the type of oil in the hydrocarbon analysis. A good lab can provide an interpretation of the data in the chromatogram and other organic results such as PAHs to better indicate the source or sources of your hydrocarbons. As mentioned earlier, if your lab reports that your hydrocarbons arise from more than one type of oil, for example diesel and lubricating oil, you now have an unknown oil and have to use the unknown oil determinant TPH C6 to C40 petroleum group to assess your hydrocarbons. Please view section 5 to learn what you may do if the lab reports that you have a single petroleum source. In House Waste Online there is another tool at your disposal to help aid your investigation into the potential source of your hydrocarbons. The PAH double ratio plot tool available in the Professional and Packages edition of Hazwaste Waste Online. Assuming that you have the results for the standard US EPA 16 PAHs in your lab data, several specific PAHs can be used to calculate and indicate the potential sources of the hydrocarbons. In Hazwaste Waste Online, the results of a calculation are plotted on a graph, which can be used to indicate whether the source of the hydrocarbons may be petroleum-based, combustion of petroleum-based, coal-based or plant-based. The graph can also indicate whether there might be more than one source of hydrocarbons in the waste. In this example, the sample plots are in an area associated to coal. Section 4. Using the marker compound for TPH to mitigate the carcinogenic and mutagenic hazard statements. If you have hazardous levels of TPH due to the HP7 carcinogenic and HP11 mutagenic hazard statements which trigger at 0.1%, in the right circumstances you can utilise the benzoapyrene marker as detailed in the guidance. The guidance states that where the concentration of your unknown oil is greater than 0.1%, it will be hazardous by HP7 and HP11. However, if the lab has confirmed that your unknown oil does not contain any diesel or petrol, and the concentration of the marker benzoapyrene is less than 0.1% weight for weight of the TPH concentration, and the waste has been sampled correctly, then HP11 and HP7 hazard properties can be removed. In our example in Has Waste Online, I have input a value of 1001 mg per kilogram into TPH C6 to C40 petroleum group and 0.1 mg per kilogram into benzoapyrene. If I click the classify all button at this stage, the TBH is hazardous. With the confirmation from the lab, I'm able to click the tick box for confirm TBH has not arisen from petrol or diesel. If I now click classify all again, the hazardous hazard properties HP7 and HP11 have been removed, leaving only the potentially hazardous outcome relating to flammability for the classifier to deal with. Section 5. When and how to use other petroleum groups to assess your hydrocarbons instead of TPH C6 to C40 petroleum group. The TPH C6 to C40 petroleum group should be used if the type of your hydrocarbon is unknown or if it contains a mixture of two or more oils. However, if your lines of evidence indicate a particular petroleum group is present, then you can use a specific petroleum group instead. For example, if you are working on the forecourt of a petrol garage, next to a diesel tank, and the laboratory confirms that all your TPH is diesel, or weathered or degraded diesel, then you can use the diesel petroleum group instead. So if I have, say, 5,000 mg per kilogram of unknown oil, but the lab interpretation confirms it's all diesel, and I am working next to a diesel tank, I can swap the worst case TPH C6 to C40 petroleum group in my waste stream template to the less worst case diesel petroleum group instead. This has a threshold of 1% or 10,000 mg per kilogram, so would not generate a hazardous outcome at only 5,000 mg per kilogram. 
Please note that not only can you not take the results from, for example, the diesel range organics, i.e. C10 to C25, and assume these as diesel, as both kerosene and light fuel oils fall within the same range, you cannot input concentrations into multiple petroleum groups as seen on screen, for classification within the same waste stream. More information on all these topics can be found in the HazWaste Online wiki. If you wish to learn more about the application of hydrocarbons within the waste industry, our waste classification training courses cover these topics in greater detail. Please follow the link in the description for a contents list and a booking form if you wish to attend. Or alternatively, you can get in contact with us directly. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching.